So you have a new patch that you really want to add to your jujitsu gi, but you're not sure how to do it. Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you the proper way to sew a gi patch onto your gi at home, just like us, the professionals at Combat Corner. Today, we'll cover sewing your patch on the back of the gi, but you can follow the same method to sew a patch on any other desired location. To start, you'll want to place your gi on a flat surface with the backside up. Grab the patch you'd like to use and place it in the center of the gi. To make sure the patch is centered, use a measuring tool to line it up between the collar and the armpits. To make it easier, once you have the patch centered, use sewing pins, spray adhesive, or something similar to hold the patch in place to limit it from movement without damaging the fabric. Once the patch is pinned, hold your gi up to verify it is centered and it's in the right location. At Combat Corner, we use and recommend quality polyester thread that is heavy enough to withstand the rigors of jujitsu. This depends on the weight of thread your machine is built to use. After you have your machine threaded, it's time to start sewing. You'll first want to sew the outer stitch line around the patch to keep the patch in place. Start by inserting your gi under the machine presser foot and insert your needle into the edge of the patch. Stitch forward and then backward to lock your thread and proceed around the rest of the patch. Try and follow a nice even path around the edge. Once you've made it all the way around the patch, backstitch to lock your thread and clip. After this step is done, you can now take the sewing pins out of the gi. A second row of stitching is recommended to ensure the patch will hold during those hard rolls. We recommend the second stitch line is a minimum of a quarter of an inch from the first stitch, but can also be sewn closer to the center. Follow the same locking procedure as before to start and finish the second row of stitching. From here, remove the gi from the machine and trim all your loose threads. If you use polyester thread, you can use a lighter to melt any thread trimmings. Inspect your work. Is it acceptable? Great. Now get back to the mat where you and your gi belong.